Hi, my name is Jeremy Tucker. I am the Juno manager slash scenic artist slash actor manager for the Darkness Haunted House and Blacklight Attractions or Halloween Productions. So how it all started was probably when I was about eight years old, my dad got me really into horror movies and Boy Scout type of haunted houses, very family friendly. So when I was little, I used to build my own little mini haunted house in my bedroom, hang sheets up, had little scare boxes, used to wear masks, and my parents would walk through. So my theater teacher was really awesome, and she said, why don't you do this for a living? So I decided to go to University of Texas in Austin, and I studied in scenic design and stage management. And a lot of acting classes too, a lot of improv, anything you can think of for acting, because I knew that that would help me focus in what I want to do haunted houses. Back in the day, in the 90s, if a lot of people remember, a lot of haunted houses were just black walls. And when I started getting into haunted houses, we were doing huge environments, huge immersive scenes that it really felt like you were walking in that scene or a new scene each time. And I was very happy when I first started doing haunted houses full time. That's what we were doing. We were doing huge, huge environments. Right now we're in the off season. So we're always changing and renovating and trying to keep up with the customers to try to make it always unique and new every year. Some haunted houses don't have that privilege. They only get to work maybe three or four months in the off season. But luckily from where we are and the, the things we get to do and the things we get to travel or place we get to go to or the things we get to work on, we're constantly working every day. Probably the biggest misconception people have about this is you can't do it all the time. You, you work maybe a month before September, then you guys open for October, and you're only open for a month and that's it. But what a lot of people don't realize, it is a full-time job. If you've seen any of our sets or any of our haunted houses, there's so much level of detail, it's unreal. So we constantly have to keep working. It's really hard to do all this amount of work in one month. I love my job and I don't look at it as a job. I look at it as a fun environment I get to work in every day. I'm 20 years in the business and I'm still learning every day something new when I paint or when I manage. And that's how it is with the other scenic artists I work with. I think the favorite part for me to work for this company or for the darkness is, it's a very hard question that I guess to answer. I really enjoy the environment, the type of people you meet and the immersive environments. Like I said in the beginning, it's the environments you get into and it makes you feel like you're there and you don't have to travel to go there. And we're creating these environments for these people to come to to feel like you're actually there. If you've ever thought about working for a company like ours or I guess say the grand scale of our company if anything like this or just an art in general, um, don't be scared. I was scared in the beginning, I was that guy. And now when I do this as a manager and when I'm in this field I'm in, I try to take it as how I was back then. How can I make it more comfortable? Just go for it. Especially acting or any crew member wise too, just go for it. Because you never know what the little spark that you have of creativity or the imagination you have could open up the doors in so many levels for haunted houses or just live entertainment like this in general. It's unreal. There's so many creative minds out there that they're worried that they won't be accepted or they don't think that their work is good enough because it's your personal work. You don't want to be offended by it, but go out there and try it because you have no idea that that one little interest you have could create a whole nother world for you.